welcome all of you in renuka institute of neet today our topic is ascent of sap ascent of sap is upward conduction of water and minerals against gravitational force from root to leaves through the stem this upward conduction of water and mineral which occur through the xylem is ascent of sap many such theories are given to explain the ascent of sap but one of them is root pressure theory this root pressure theory is priestle was the scientist who gave the root pressure theory to explain the ascent of sap the term root pressure is coined by stephen hells gave the term root pressure so what is exactly the root pressure mean this is transverse section of the root this is root epiblema the cortex endodermis pericycle and the xylem vessel these are the root hairs which increase surface area for absorption of water and minerals from the soil solution water is absorbed by the root water passes through root hair towards the endodermis and the xylem all the water molecules passes through this pathway either epoplast pathway that is outside the cell or from the cell wall to cell wall without entering into the cell or the another pathway is the symplast pathway over here water has to enter into the cell and passes one cell to other cell through the plasmodesmata these are the cytoplasmic strands the water can easily move up to the endodermis but cannot cross the endodermis due to presence of casparian strips so when all the cells of the cortex become turgid they exert pressure on the endodermis and this collective turgor pressure exerted by all cells of the cortex on the endodermis is the root pressure due to this root pressure water enter into the xylem elements but we know very well when the water enter into the xylem along with the water mineral salts are also enter or deposited inside the xylem so in the xylem water and minerals accumulate simply when mineral ions are accumulated inside the xylem vessel the water potential decreases in the xylem simply when the solute concentration increase the water potential decreases as a result of that water potential in the xylem decrease so more and more water is pushed or simply sucked by the cells towards the xylem and more water enter into the xylem vessel as water move from high water potential to low water potential there is always high water potential in the soil solution and low water potential in the xylem vessels so more water is taken into the xylem so when the water enter into the xylem the water molecule again exert pressure on the xylem vessel or in the tracheids we can say or the tracheal vessel the water moves upward and due to this pressure exerted by the water molecules water move upward and this is ascent of sap 
So, we can say root pressure is exerted on the water simply in the xylem vessel. This is hydrostatic pressure or it is a positive pressure exerted by the cells initially on the endodermis and later on on the xylem vessel and due to this pressure upward conduction of water is carried out. Remember that root pressure is the phenomenon which exerted in the plant for 24 hours until there is a difference in the concentration the water absorption is always carried out. We know very well soil solution is a hypotonic and the cytoplasmic concentration of each cell of the root with compared to soil solution is always hypertonic and so water move from hypo to hypertonic solution. So, water continuously absorbed by the root and continuously root pressure is generated. So, this way root pressure exerted in plant for 24 hours. So, this is the important for the ascent of sap, but the drawback of the root pressure theory is that in the root pressure theory it exerts only 2 atmospheric pressure in the plant. In some cases occasionally 5 to 10 atmospheric pressure was also observed, but normally it is nearly 2 atmospheric pressure. Very important thing this 2 atmospheric pressure is not adequate to raise water in the tall trees. In the tall trees nearly 50 atmospheric pressure is required and that is a minimum amount. So, 2 atmospheric pressure is much less than required in the tall trees and that is why in the tall trees root pressure is not enough for the ascent of sap. In the laboratory we can observe the root pressure. We take a healthy adequately watered plant in the laboratory. We need to cut the stem from outside slightly. So, we can observe after some time water exudes out from that region and this exudation of water is the indication of a root pressure as root pressure is continuously carried out the water raised in the small plants and we can observe the root pressure exerted here in the laboratory. Another thing root pressure is occur for the 24 hours as I told earlier in the night water absorbed by the root is not utilized as in the absence of sunlight there is no photosynthesis. So, water which is absorbed during night period is not utilized. So, this excess amount of water gets released from the leaf specifically leaf apex in the form of water droplets and the drops of water found at the tip of the leaf is called as an gutation. So, gutation is a phenomenon of loss of water in the form of liquid by the leaf apex where specific gland is present called as an hydrothought. Thank you.